What's up my friend, I hope you are all doing well and welcome to this new video. So in this video we are going to try to crack this program. So by the way, this website which is called crackmes.one, I will give you the link in the description. So in this website, you can see that there is a lot of programs that are meant to be cracked, alright? So there is a lot of work here, alright? That's what I'm going to do. Alright, let's go back to our uh, program. So this is a program in C or C++ language, Linux. Arch x86 64 bit. All right, let's get started. And by the way, I will give you also the link of this program in the description. So let's get started. Uh, here, there is my program, All right? Review 15 Linux 64 bit. So let's try to run this program, all right? Like this. Here we have usage, we have to like usage, you have to give around the program and pass it uh, and pass a password, all right? So we have here try again. All right, let's do again and pass a password. For example, one two three. Wrong. For example, let's do again. Password wrong. So what you have to do? We have to do a reverse engineering of this program. So to do this, we have to use a program called Ghidra. All right. So we're going to go to our Ghidra program and do run. So this is our program, uh, Gitra, this is the interface of the program. You can just go to file and import a file like this, home, download, no, sorry, home, download, and crack me. As you can see, there is a lot of crack me's, all right? Uh, so we're going to start with the first one, all right, and enter, okay, okay, and you have just to press enter. To start, analyze. Yes, I want to analyze it now. Analyze. All right, good. So now the first thing that you have to do is search for the main function. All right. Now I will explain to you the structure of this program. Here, as we can see, we have the assembly code that we are going to see later. Here, the compile code, uh, which in this case in C. Here, the, the functions and so on. So our main uh, focus. On these two faces, all right, the, the compile code and the assembly code. Let's get started. Here, as we can see, we have our int main. So this int main is the entry function in C language for those who doesn't know the C uh, language. All right. Here we have we can uh, retype int like this. So uh, we have here int main int parameter one and undefined parameter two so here we have uh, the second parameter so so to explain to you this is this first parameter is an argument counter i explained to you for example when you do uh, let's go to our command line all right so for example when you do like this run this program this called an argument and then when, when you pass another argument uh, which is named also an argument. So this is called an argument and this int parameter one is count how many arguments that you pass to the program and by the way the name of the program is also counted as an argument alright so here in this case we have two arguments alright then this second parameter it stores this argument in array of strings alright uh, let's continue here we have a size t var1 for example let's, let's uh, leave it like this so we declare a variable then here our work the first condition if the parameter one equal to two uh, in other way if the argument counter is equal to two this is the first condition we have to pass two argument the, uh, the name of the program and the random argument like this hello or anything all right which is meant to be the password all right then we have uh, is var equal to what equal to the strlearn of the parameter 2 of index 1 let's explain this all right but first what is this strlearn so let's search it in the strlearn in c uh, as we can see here the strlearn uh, function is a c standard library uh, which gives you the learn of a null, null terminated string all right so basically it just gives you the length of a string so we call this this function and pass to it the parameter the argument vector which hold uh, our all argument like this and then it went to the first to, to the to the and then 
it to the parameter 2 of index 1 so this is the index 0 and this is the index 1 so it takes the second argument all right then it check if this length of the second parameter is equal to 10 this is the second condition all right so they want from us uh, to pass two parameter and then the second parameter have equal to 10 so for example like this one two three four five six seven eight nine all right and 10 let's add zero for example let's add in the first zero like this all right this is the second uh, condition then the third condition which is if the parameter of index one which is the second parameter all right plus four here is the trick they want from us at the index four we should found this character so like this zero one two three four at this index exactly we have to find this character which is i don't know so let's change it by this character like this and press enter as we can see we have nice job and our flag i hope you understand it but let's do a recap all right first thing that we did here int param1 parameter 1 is store the argument counter how many arguments we pass to this program good this parameter 2 it store the arguments itself in an array of pointers all right good then we declared a variable called uh, var1 uh, from type size t then the first the first condition if parameter 1 is equal to 2 if yes the s var1 to equal to the str length of the second argument like this all right then we have another condition if is 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 var1 equal to 10 this is the second condition this this uh, argument uh, his length has to be equal to 10 all right then this the third condition if parameter of index 1 which is the second the second argument sorry plus 4 which is uh, at the index 4 uh, we should find this character as we can see here all right then if this condition is also true we put night job and print f the flag or which is which is just the parameter the uh, at the parameter two of index one which is the second argument all right let's start to pass a wrong password for example hello it will give you this but where this come from all right here, here as we can see we have our function which is usage usage if we go to it we will find that this is a void function and it just print if the usage password and try again uh, so easy and ex and exit all right now i hope you understand this uh, flow of this code now let's go to our beast which is assembly all right here as we can see we have push rbb move rbb rsp and rbb and subtract uh, 0x10 which is 16 in decimal from rsp this is in a simply way just while setting this the main stack frame so as we know uh, as we know uh, every function stored in the stack so by this by these instructions we are just saving some space for this int main function that's it and by this line here we are saving 0x 0x10 byte from rsp to our variables int main parameter 2 size t var 1 and so on all right here we have uh, we we get uh, our first parameter and second parameter and store it also in the stack then we compare this comparison it's it's the same cmp if the second parameter is equal to 0x2 is equal to 2 the parameter 1 sorry is equal to, uh, to 2 then jump if not equal to 0 so this is nc it's equal like it's uh, it's like jump if not equal to 0 to this label else do this move uh, we are going to move the the second parameter in rax then then here rax is pointing to the first argument and by doing add 0x8 to rax we are moving to the second argument all right so let's continue and here we have uh, we move the pointer to the rax then the rocks move the rocks to the parameter one so all these instructions are just to call the str line all right then we do a comparison compare zero uh, rocks to zero xa as we can see here if s var is equal to 10 then jump if not equal to zero to this label else move uh, we are going to also move the second parameter and add zero xa to the rocks then then like this 
and here we have add 0x4 so why here we did add rack 0x4 to get the index number 4 because here we are checking the parameter 2 of index 1 plus 4 so as as we said that in the index number 4 we have to we have to find this character all right so this is why we do uh, uh, 0 x rax plus 0 x4 all right and we have this line and here we have compare if al which is a just a small part from this rx register is equal to 0 x4 uh, 0 x 0 x 14 and if we went to google and search 0 x 14 in decimal we are going to find is equal to uh, to 64 and also if we went to our ASCII table like this we will find the 64 here is the ASCII code of this character all right I hope you understand it now let's remove this and this and, and continue then here we have uh, our comparison jump if not equal to zero to this uh, label if uh, if this condition is false else print this nice job and we call our this uh, put uh, function and so on and these are just a uh, instructions uh, for calling this print uh, function all right so this is our uh, our code in assembly let's see the final code here as we can see we leave and return so this leave just pop the rpp and release the main stack frame all right now let's go to our usage to see the assembly code of this uh, function we have also here as we said we are searching the, the stack for this usage the stack frame for this usage, for usage function all right the same thing we are move here is just printing uh, the usage and the try again all right so our video ends here i hope you enjoyed and sorry if i miss up with something or an information i am just a beginner in this low level programming or low level in general so if i miss up with something just correct me in the comments so see you in another reverse engineering video see you again peace